I grew up in like a Christian household, so I would go to church every week with my dad. But I didn't truly know Jesus. Mm. So one day my mom told me oh, we're gonna move to Wilmer, and so I was I was really upset. I got super mad, and then I, I was like I was whining to her. I was like I don't want to go. But um, we eventually moved here, and I started uh, doing praise and worship every week, coming up on stage. But I didn't do it because I wanted to give praise to God. I kind of did it because it was just like a job, you know, that I had something that I had to do every week. And um, I, um, sorry. And um, so one day, some youth from St. Paul, they came down here and I just, I was just watching from behind. They were praising God and it just looked so beautiful to me. It was so beautiful. They were like, I just realized at that point there was more to worship than just singing. You know, you're you're just really speaking to God and letting God speak to you. And so, uh, after after that, like I started becoming more invested in my faith, and I started like I started like praying a little more. But then, you know, some things happened, and I started I started drifting away again. And I knew who Je now at that point like I knew Jesus you know he's he's like a miracle God and he can he can do all things but I didn't have like like I even though I knew like even though I knew him I knew who he was and I knew what he was capable of I didn't trust in him and I you know I strayed away from him and I didn't take him seriously and so but then um uh, another time some pastors came down and they were just praying and at the time I felt God speak to me and I did go through some things that God was really speaking to me she was like uh, he was like you need to wake up you need to you know get back on your feet like I'm here for you and so I just want so I just want to say that the word was speaking so loud to me that I couldn't take it I just let it sink into me and I didn't even care about what God had to say to me so I just want to tell all of you guys here that no matter what the world says, the, if the world says you're too young or you know you're too you, you're not good enough, I'm gonna read off a scripture. Here it says uh, Jeremiah five through ten. Then said I, Ah Lord God, behold. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, it says five. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, I, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. God is with you. God is with you. Don't listen to what the world has to say. What the world says doesn't matter. All that matters is what God has to say. And let me tell you. All of you here right now, if you if you think you're straying too far away from God and that you can't come back to him, that's not true. That's a lie from the devil. You, God is waiting for you with his arms wide open. He's waiting for you to come back home. Um, in uh, John, John chapter 2, it's talking about how Jesus turned water into wine. Now think about it. If, the, if they didn't run out of wine, why would Jesus have to make more wine, right? So... Something can get like uh, something can get from that is if you don't if you don't empty out your old self if you don't die to yourself if you don't die to your old self Jesus cannot change you even though even though he's a, a God who is able if you don't give him a chance he can't work through you if you don't give him a chance you gotta give him a chance 